Hey guys, welcome again to the video lecture series of Geotechnical Engineering powered by Sri Swamina Institute of Technology. The syllabus is based on Gujarat Technological University. Today we are talking about the phase diagram and the physical properties of soil. From the last lecture, we can understand about the phase system. On today's lecture, today we are discussing about the relationship of basic physical property of soil. So let's start with brief understanding. Here, all the weight volume relationship needed in the soil mechanics can be derived from the appropriate combination of six fundamental definitions, and they are void ratio, porosity, degree of saturation water content, limit weight, and specific gravity. These all basic definitions are understood by in last lecture. If you do not have seen this lecture, please take a look for first. From that video, you can understand the void ratio is VV over VS, volume of voids upon volume of solid, the porosity is volume of void upon total volume. Degree of saturation is weight of saturation, so saturated soil divided by volume of soil. The water content is the uh, ratio of weight of water upon weight of solid. The unit weight is mass over volume and specific gravity is density of soil upon density of water. So, let's start with the relation. Of physical property. Here, first one is relationship between void ratio and the porosity. As we know that the void ratio is volume of voids over volume of solid. From the phase diagram, you can see here the volume of voids over volume of solid. A volume of solid is the total volume minus volume of void. How? Here is the total volume. Here is the volume of solid. So, the volume of solid is equal to total volume minus this volume of void. Here we know that volume uh, divide both the terms with the total volume. Okay. Here in you can see in equation we have divided both sides the total volume. So the V V over V divided by V V over V minus V V over V. So here V over V is going to be one. Okay, and again this is divided by V. So we know that the porosity N is the ratio of volume of voids over total volume. So here volume of voids over total volume we can take N which is porosity. So the equation will become E is equal to N over 1 minus N. Also this equation will be written as n is equal to e over 1 plus e. After the simplification of this equation, e is equal to n upon 1 minus n, we can get this equation n is equal to e over 1 plus e. How? From this phase diagram, you can see here, n is equal to volume of voids over total volume. So, from the figure, you can see here the volume of voids is denoted by small e. So, directly we can take volume of voids is equal to e, right? From this figure, also you can see that the total volume will become for volume of soil, the vo volume of soil is given as 1. So, the total volume will become 1 plus e, right? So, the total volume is 1 plus e. So, the equation for the porosity will become E over 1 plus 
E. This is the solution throughout the phase diagram. Now, take a look for the relationship of void ratio, degree of saturation, water content, and specific gravity. Here, you can see in the equation, as we know that the water content is the ratio of weight of water over weight of solid. From we know that the density is equal to weight by volume. So, the volume is denoted by the density into sorry, the weight is denoted by density into volume. So, we can directly take here the weight of water is equal to density of water into volume of water. Similarly, the weight of solid is denoted by density of solid and into volume of solid. Now, we want a specific gravity in this equation. So, here is the gamma S and gamma W. So, to, we know that the specific gravity is the ratio of gamma S over gamma W, the density of soil solids over density of water, which is the specific gravity. So, here we can put the value of gamma S from the same equation. So, the density of solids become density of water into specific gravity of soil solids. So, we can directly add this in equation. So, the equation will become water content is equal to gamma W into Vw w volume into uh, volumetric weight of water divided by gamma W into Gs into Vs. So, here from the equation, the gamma W will, the same value will become deducted. So, gamma W and gamma W will cancel and the equation will become weight of water, sorry, volume of water over volume of solid into specific gravity of soil solid. Divide the denominator and the numerator of the left hand side and, sorry, right hand side by volume of void. So, if we take this specific gravity multiplied by water content, so it will become W into G, okay. Here, VV over VS is equal to E and the VV over VW, sorry, VW over VV is considered as degree of saturation. So, the equation will become E is equal to WG upon SR. So, that's how we can get the value and the relation of E, W, S, R and specific gravity. This is very useful relationship to solve the three phase solve system. The void ratio E will become water content into specific gravity divided by degree of saturation. Equation is E is equal to W, G over S, R. Now, move forward to the Next relationship, the relationship of void ratio, degree of saturation, bulk density and the specific gravity. As we know that the density is equal to weight over volume. So, the total weight is the weight of water plus weight of solid and the total volume is weight of solids plus volume of sorry volume of solids plus volume of voids here volume of voids is volume of water plus volume of air as we discussed earlier the weight of water is density of water into volume of water similarly the weight of solid is density of solid into volume of solid so, here in a force enumerator, the value will become gamma W into VW plus gamma S into Vs. In the denominator, it is the same Vs plus Vv. Now, so again, here is the relation of void ratio, degree of saturation, 
density and specific gravity so the density is weight over volume here total weight is equal to weight of water plus weight of solid from the three phase system and total volume is weight of uh, volume of solid plus volume of voids as we know weight of water is density of water into volume of water and the weight of solid is density of solids and volume of solid divided by vs plus vv now the density of solid will become density of water into specific gravity of soil solid so the equation will gamma w into vw plus gamma w into g into vs divided by vs plus vv from this equation you can take a equal value gamma w outside the box now here vs is also will be become common so that here vw over vs plus gs into bracket gamma w divided by vs plus vv divided by vs so in denominator vs over vs is equal to 1 plus vv over vs will become void ratio from upper side volume of water upon volume of solid will become degree of saturation and the vv over vs will become void ratio so the equation will become for the density is the bulk density will denoted by g plus e into sr into gamma w over 1 plus e also if the sample has dry then the gamma d will become g gamma w over 1 plus e because if the sample is dry then the value of sr degree of saturation is zero so this all term will become zero only here is gamma sorry specific gravity g so the equation will become for the dry density gamma d is equal to g gamma w over 1 plus e take a look for the notes a unit weights for dry and fully saturated and submerged cases can be derived from the upper equation if the soil sample is submerged then the degree of saturation will become 1 so the equation will become for the gamma submerged is equal to e plus g over 1 plus e into gamma w now the water content can be used instead of degree of saturation so that from this basic equation density is equal to g plus e into sr gamma w over 1 plus e we can solve submerged unit weight also the saturated unit weight also the dry unit weight and bulk unit weight now let's move to the next relationship which is the main relationship instead of all it is the most asked question in gtu exam it is the relationship between the dry density and the bulk density and the water content so here a moisture content of soil is defined as the ratio of mass of water to the mass of solids present in the soil sample also it is denoted by small w so the moisture content is mass of water over mass of solid and the equation will become weight of mw over ms the dry density of soil is defined as the ratio of mass of solids to the total volume of the soil it is represented by gamma d or rho d right here i denoted it by rho d so it is the ms over v the density is weight of solid over total volume now 
to obtain the relationship between the moisture content and the dry density multiply the numerator and denominator of expression of dry density with mass which is denoted by capital m so the density of dry soil is the mass of dry soil over total volume into mass over mass so that the mass over volume into mass of solid over mass here mass of the soil sa sample m is nothing but the addition of mass of solid and the mass of water so the density will become here m by v mass over volume is nothing but the density divided by total mass we can write the total mass as mass of solids plus mass of water we cannot get the mass of air so that we have to neglect the value of mass of air because it will become zero so the total mass is mass of solid plus mass of water divide by this numerator will become now the denominator for the same value of mass of solid plus mass of water so the equation will become m over v divided by ms plus mw which is in denominator ms the ratio of mass to the volume is bulk density of soil which is denoted by rho therefore the mass over volume will become rho or density gamma and the ms plus mw over ms here we have to separate m this value so that ms over ms will become 1 plus mw over ms will become water content as i told you earlier the weight of water over weight of solid is the water content so here the density rho d or gamma d is equal to gamma b over 1 plus w or gamma over 1 plus w or rho over 1 plus w this is how we can solve the relationship between different and basic physical property of soil today we are learn about the basic relationship of the equation which is first one is bulk density and dry density another one is which is the equation of gamma d is equal to gamma over gamma b over 1 plus w another equation is e is equal to wg over sr another equation for the porosity and void ratio is n is equal to e over 1 plus e or e is equal to n over 1 minus n as relation of suppose unit weight dry unit weight and bulk unit weight is gamma is equal to w g g plus sorry bulk density from the equation is g plus e into sr into gamma w over 1 plus e the value for the dry unit weight is g gamma w over 1 plus e and the value for the saturated 100 percent saturated sample is g plus e into gamma w over 1 plus e so here is the basic relationship between this physical property these all are important equations to solve some other properties of soil like shear strength bearing capacity specific gravity and etc so thank you guys for listening this video lecture see you into the next lecture goodbye